Tenakoto, and welcome to this presentation on biochemistry at Otago. I'm Sigurd Wilbanks, a member of the faculty and the, a course advisor in biochemistry. Like Gaul, this presentation is divided into three parts, who we are, where biochemistry can take you, and the practicalities of doing biochemistry at the University of Otago. Our Maori name, Te Tare Matu Koriora, indicates a lot about us. We study the essence of life. Our English name, biochemistry, also says a good deal in that we are at the intersection of biology and chemistry. It really goes all the way from physics of the molecules that make up our living bodies, all the way up to how whole organisms, people, plants, microbes act, with everything in between, from the bits of DNA to the bits of protein to how those stack up into organelles, cells, and whole bodies. I think a good way to illustrate that is a few examples from research carried out by members of our department. Uh, Lynette Brownfield looks at thermotolerance and pollen, how plants respond to excess heat when they're trying to produce um, seed, and that has strong implications for better plant breeding and higher yields in crops. In a very different focus, Steph Hughes looks at a tragic disease with the very young. She's looking for new therapies based around genetics and engineering. Tony Merriman's also looking at genetics, in this case of gout. He's recently shown that gout, far from being a disease of sin and excess, is strongly determined by your genetics, and so it's the luck of who your parents were. Also in disease, Ian Lamont is looking for new treatments for emerging microbial infections, ways to treat important diseases involved in cystic fibrosis and for burn victims. Our research is recognized both nationally and internationally. This slide summarizes my colleagues who've recently run research awards at the national and international level. It's also a really excellent advertisement for graduates from our department, Anita, Tony, Warren, and Perry are all graduates of the biochemistry department who have gone on to high, very distinguished and successful research careers. As well as being outstanding researchers, we're also teacher, uh, outstanding teachers. It exemplifies the real ideal of the university that you've got top researchers who are also doing top teaching. That if you come study biochemistry at Otago, you'll be learning about these discoveries from the people who've made them. You'll see some of the same faces appear on this slide, recognizing the top teachers in the department, some of whom are also our top researchers. But perhaps more important than having top staff is the fact that we also have top students. You're going to learn as much from your classmates and your flatmates at Otago as you will from the faculty. The Prince of Wales Prize is the prize for the top undergraduate at Otago, goes to the man or woman with the best academic record, most outstanding accomplishments. These three biochemists won it three times in the last five years. If you come uh, study at Otago, you can help us repeat this in the coming years, or at the very least, you'll be studying with the best um, other students and maximizing your own potential. Besides listening to my spiel about how great we are, you should also listen to what our students say. The Graduate Opinion Survey is conducted throughout the university asking recent graduates what they valued about their time at Otago. This quotes some of the things which they found best about the biochemistry department. A number of them focus on the passion of the lecturers for teaching, but they also talk about how supportive we are, and the practical learning was extremely helpful. Part of that practical learning has to do with skills that transfer to any career you might pursue, not just research in biochemistry. This shows a couple of our students talking to a student at a local high school, communicating to him what it is biochemists do, and a little bit about the university experience. So, communication skills, which are important in any career. Along with that, we emphasize problem-solving skills, analytical skills, um, that apply to all kinds of different careers. And that's something which our graduates have emphasized as useful to them. More quotes from the survey, things like, I'm frequently able to draw from my problem-solving tenacity, creative and self-confidence skills I gained at university, and that this has led to more opportunities to get a job. This is a summary of where the class of 2016 ended up just two years later. Many of them in medicine, a significant number working, and a lot in further postgraduate study, which is essential if you're going to go into a research career. 
in biochemistry. As well as a variety of careers, there's also a variety of locations. Our graduates end up on every continent, from Africa to South America, north of the equator. They end up everywhere. A few examples, what they do and where they are. Colin's gone on to a professorship at the ANU in Canberra, was recently the inaug their inaugural Scientist of the Year. Rob Knights, a professor at a top U.S. university um, in San Diego. A number of our graduates, of course, go into medicine. Ashok, Claire, and Ollie have all pursued that path. And we have a number that, who go into government in a number of different capacities, formulating policy or enforcing it. Simone with the MBIE that oversees science funding and regulation. And as well as government, of course, we also have um, students in education at every level. In fact, from primary school up through university, Dick Hitchings is typical in teaching secondary school, in his case, at Parnell College in Auckland. And of course, many go into industry, not only in research roles such as Simon Cabot, but as managers and analysts such as Courtney McLaughlin, um, now working in London or Callum Johnston, also in London, but in a more communications rather than a managerial role. Those are just a few examples of the many different careers that biochemists end up in. Less than half of them, in fact, end up doing biochemical research. Many of them do a great variety of things. So if you're interested in any one of those pathways, how do you get started? There are a number of different degrees at Otago that biochemistry contributes to and will take you on these paths. The straight ahead version, of course, is a Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry. We also teach into genetics and plant biochemistry. There's also the Bachelor of Arts, where biochemistry can be combined with an arts subject for a four-year degree. Biochemistry also contributes to the Bachelor of Biomedical Science, particularly to the major in Molecular Basis of Health and Disease. We also contribute to the Bachelor of Applied Science with a more biotechnological focus. All of these ha um, have a good start in health science first year. About half of our majors will start in health science first year and then switch to a biochemistry degree, whereas about half come in as biochemists from the very beginning. All of those will take the three required papers for a biochemistry major, Biochemistry 192, our own biochemistry paper, as well as a cell biology and a chemistry paper in the first semester. To complement that, we recommend some biology and also a little bit of chemistry and um, statistics or mathematics are a good thing to underlie preparation for biochemistry. They're not absolutely required. Those lead on to more specialized papers in the second and third year. We have a comparatively small number of papers offered in biochemistry, encouraging students to get broader exposure to physiology, anatomy, microbiology, and other science topics. Our own papers focus on cell biology, biotechnology, plant biochemistry, and aspects of genetics. What you need to do to get started in high school preparation, make certain you've got some biology and some chemistry. We recommend level two biology, though it's not absolutely required. And for that chemistry paper at first year, there's a strong recommendation that you've got some NCA level three chemistry. If you don't, talk to course advisors in chemistry about how you can catch up or whether in fact the preparation you've got they deem sufficient to take that paper. They sometimes do. And of course, if you've got questions about biochemistry at Otago, talk to me, contact our department, the website and the email address here are perfect for getting in touch with questions about how one goes about biochemistry at Otago and where it might lead you to. Thank you.